Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, Lecturer in Computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video we're going to learn how to draw a simple pie chart in Excel 2010. So before you draw any chart, the first thing and obvious thing to do will be to have your data organised in a way that is meaningful to, for you and to prepare for drawing the chart. Here I have some simple data. I've got some sales figures in thousands for four products, apples, oranges, bananas and pears. And I've got a period of four quarters. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to draw some pie charts so that I can compare the quarters with one another. So let's say I'm happy with the layout of my data. I've got my apples, oranges and bananas, pears down along the left hand side and my quarters across in row two with the figures for each in each cell. When I want to create a pie chart, the first thing I must do is select the data that I want to draw. So what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to select from A2 down to A6 and also select Q1 down to the number 13 for pairs. So I've selected these two columns so that I can draw a pie chart to represent the sales of each of the four products for quarter one. Now, next, select the insert ribbon from the top of the Excel 2010 screen. And you can see here in the middle that there are several different type of charts that you can draw. We want to select the pie chart. So let's click on that. And um, there are different types that we can choose. So what I'm going to do first of all is just select a simple 2D pie that you can see here. And this Excel then displays a pie chart for the data that I have selected. I'm just moving it to the left here so that you can see it. So that's a pie chart for Q1. And let's say I'm doing a presentation to um, a group of people and I want to be able to show beside this um, Q2 sales figures. So once again, I go back to my data, select the apples, oranges and pears and select the Q2 data this time instead of the Q1. Go to the ribbon at the top and choose insert. Once again, select a pie chart option and click on the 2D pie chart that you see here. Just moving the pie chart over to the right so we can see both charts at the same time. Now we can compare the two charts and we can see that the blue area on one representing apples uh, for Q2 is much bigger than the blue area for Q1. And you can see in particular that the green area representing bananas in Q2 is a lot smaller than the corresponding green area in Q1. Now, if I want to modify my chart here, th these are a little bit flat, so let's say I would like to um, spread them out a little bit and also to introduce a tr 3D effect onto them. So I take my chart here and I'm going to right click on the chart, anywhere will do, and select from the middle of the pop-up menu the Change chart, chart Type option. If I scroll down, I can see under the pie charts, I've got several different options that I can choose here. And over towards here, I have the Exploded Pie in 3D option, so I'm going to select that one there and click on OK. And you can see that now my chart is looks a little bit better. It's spread out and hopefully will look nicer on a presentation. If I do the same to the chart on the right hand side, select the Change tar Chart Type option in the middle and I'm going to go for the same type because I'm doing a presentation so I want to have similar graphics. Click on OK. And I can now see, and it's a little bit more obvious to me and hopefully to my audience in the presentation, that the Q2 figures vary quite significantly from the Q1 figures. And you can see, according to the chart, um, the exploded spread out 3D effect to make your pie charts look that little bit better. So creating pie charts in Excel is relatively straightforward. I can now do the same for Qs3 and Qs4 uh, and make a comparison of the four in my presentation. So there it is. That's all you need to know how to create a pie chart using, in this case, some very, very simple data. You can use this uh, method to expand on your data and to create even more complicated pie charts that look very, very well in presentations. They will always look that little bit better than, say, raw data presented in a table. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you very much for your attention.